12 Mistakes You Should Never Make When Use Castor Oil Do you know the biggest mistakes people make when using castor oil? I've been there myself, trying to figure out how to use it properly. According to dermatologists, most castor oil users make at least one critical mistake. From my personal experience and extensive research, I've discovered the top mistakes everyone should avoid when using castor oil. So stay with me, dear viewer. In this lighthearted video, we'll dive into these common pitfalls and learn exactly what to avoid when using this humble yet powerful oil. Let's make sure you get the best results without any adverse effects. Using castor oil on open wounds or irritated skin. Applying castor oil on open wounds or irritated skin is not recommended. While castor oil is excellent for nourishing healthy skin, using it on cuts or sore spots can exacerbate the problem and potentially lead to infections. Open wounds and irritated skin require gentle, healing-specific products that promote recovery. Castor oil, due to its thick and potent nature, can block air from reaching the wound, which is essential for healing. Instead, focus on using products like antibacterial ointments or soothing aloe vera gel designed for wound care. Once the skin is healed and is no longer irritated, you can then benefit from castor oil's moisturizing and soothing properties. By reserving castor oil for unbroken, healthy skin, you can keep your skin soft and healthy without risking further irritation or complications. Applying Castor Oil Near the Eyes Applying castor oil near the eyes requires extra caution due to the delicate nature of the skin in this area. The skin around the eyes is exceptionally thin and sensitive, much like a fine piece of silk. Castor oil, known for its thick consistency and potent properties, can easily cause irritation if it gets too close to this fragile area. Even a small amount can lead to redness, itching, or swelling, potentially exacerbating issues such as puffiness or dark circles. To avoid these problems, it's crucial to apply castor oil with precision, steering clear of the eye area. Instead, focus on using the oil on less sensitive parts of your face or body to enjoy its benefits without discomfort. For those seeking to nourish the eye area, consider using products specifically designed for this sensitive region, such as eye creams or gels containing gentle, soothing ingredients like chamomile or cucumber extract. This approach allows you to maintain the health and beauty of your eyes while still reaping the benefits of castor oil elsewhere. Not diluting castor oil with a carrier oil for sensitive skin. Not diluting castor oil with a carrier oil for sensitive skin can lead to unwanted irritation. Castor oil is quite potent and its thick consistency can be overwhelming for sensitive skin, much like a powerful cleaning agent that needs to be diluted to be used safely. Applying it directly can cause redness, itching, or even breakouts. To mitigate these risks, it's essential to mix castor oil with a gentler carrier oil such as jojoba, almond, or coconut oil. This dilution helps to temper the strength of castor oil while still allowing you to benefit from its moisturizing and healing properties. By creating a balanced blend, you can safely incorporate castor oil into your skincare routine. Even if you have sensitive skin, ensuring hydration and nourishment without the risk of irritation. This method also makes the oil easier to apply and enhances its absorption, providing a soothing experience for your skin. Applying castor oil directly to the skin without a patch test. Applying castor oil directly to the skin without conducting a patch test can be risky. Each person's skin can react differently to new products, and castor oil's potent properties might cause unexpected irritation or allergic reactions. A patch test involves applying a small amount of the oil to a discrete area of skin, like behind the ear or on the inner wrist, and waiting 24 hours to see if any redness, itching, or swelling occurs. This simple precaution helps ensure that your skin can tolerate the oil before you use it more broadly. By performing a patch test, you can avoid potential discomfort and confidently incorporate castor oil into your skincare routine. This step is especially important if you have sensitive or reactive skin, as it helps you gauge your skin's response and prevent adverse reactions. Using castor oil on broken or cracked nails? 
Using castor oil on broken or cracked nails can actually be beneficial, but it should be done with care. Castor oil is rich in nutrients that can help strengthen and nourish your nails. However, if your nails are severely damaged, it's best to first ensure they are clean and trimmed to prevent further breakage. Gently massage a small amount of castor oil into your nails and cuticles daily to help improve their condition over time. This simple routine can support healthier, stronger nails, making them less prone to cracking in the future. For added benefit, you can mix the castor oil with a few drops of vitamin E oil, which is known for its healing properties. Consistent use will help to restore the health of your nails, making them more resilient and less likely to break. Storing castor oil improperly leads to spoilage. Storing castor oil improperly can lead to spoilage. To keep your castor oil fresh and effective, it's important to store it correctly. Always keep it in a cool, dark place, away from direct sunlight and heat. Make sure the bottle is tightly sealed to prevent air from getting in, which can cause the oil to go rancid. By storing it properly, you ensure that the castor oil remains safe and beneficial for your skin and hair care routines. Additionally, consider storing the oil in a glass bottle rather than plastic, as glass helps preserve the oil's integrity better. Proper storage not only extends the shelf life of castor oil, but also maintains its therapeutic properties, ensuring you get the most out of every drop. Not washing off castor oil properly after use. Not washing off castor oil properly after use can lead to clogged pores and skin irritation. Castor oil is thick and can leave a residue if not thoroughly cleansed. After applying castor oil, make sure to wash it off with warm water and a gentle cleanser to remove any excess oil. This will help prevent buildup on your skin, keeping it clean and healthy. Properly removing castor oil ensures you can enjoy its benefits without the risk of irritation or breakouts. It's also a good idea to follow up with a toner to ensure all traces of the oil are removed, leaving your skin refreshed and balanced. Overusing castor oil on eyebrows or eyelashes. Overusing castor oil on eyebrows or eyelashes can cause issues. While castor oil can promote hair growth, applying too much can lead to clogged pores and irritation. A small amount goes a long way. Use a clean mascara wand or cotton swab to apply a thin layer to your eyebrows or eyelashes, and do this only a few times a week. This way you can enjoy the benefits without risking any unwanted side effects. For best results, Apply the oil in the evening and wash it off in the morning to prevent any buildup and ensure your lashes and brows remain healthy and strong. Using castor oil on oily skin. While castor oil is beneficial for dry skin, using it on oily skin can cause clogged pores and increase acne. For oily skin, it's better to use lighter oils like jojoba oil or tea tree oil, which help balance oil production without clogging pores. These lighter oils provide the necessary hydration and help maintain clear and healthy skin, preventing the issues that can arise from using heavier oils like castor oil on oily skin types. Incorporating these lighter oils into your skincare routine ensures that your skin remains well moisturized without the risk of breakouts, giving you a balanced and clear complexion. Not washing hands after using castor oil after using castor oil, it is crucial to wash your hands thoroughly. The oil can be sticky and difficult to remove, potentially contaminating objects you touch afterward. Not washing your hands can lead to transferring the oil to your eyes or other parts of your body, causing unwanted irritation or discomfort. Additionally, thorough hand washing ensures cleanliness and prevents the spread of the oil to surfaces and items you handle, maintaining a hygienic environment. Proper hand hygiene after applying castor oil not only protects your skin, but also keeps your surroundings clean and safe, preventing any accidental spreading of the oil to areas where it may cause issues. Using castor oil on colored or chemically treated hair without consulting a professional. Using castor oil on colored or chemically treated hair without consulting a professional can be risky. 
Your hair, much like a delicate fabric, undergoes significant changes when exposed to coloring or chemical treatments. These processes can leave your hair more porous and fragile, requiring specialized care to maintain its health and vibrancy. Castor oil, while known for its nourishing properties, is quite thick and potent. Applying it to chemically treated hair without guidance may lead to unexpected results, such as buildup or altered color. To ensure your hair stays beautiful and healthy, it's best to seek advice from a professional who can recommend the right products and application methods tailored to your unique hair needs. Consulting with a professional ensures that you get the maximum benefits from castor oil while maintaining the integrity and appearance of your treated hair. I hope you found these castor oil tips helpful. Share this with your family and friends so everyone can enjoy its benefits. Stay healthy and happy.